Hi, I'm JC. Thank you for joining me today. I'm really glad you're here. As I've been filming over the last couple of weeks, I've realized how incredibly boring this wall is behind me. And uh, it needs some, it needs some judging up. It needs something exciting. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to be exciting or not, but I've decided to try pe peel and stick wallpaper. It looks like this. And I'm going to take you along with me. I've wallpapered before. Uh, downstairs in my house, but I've never tried to do a wall with an angle like this, so it shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, so I hope you join me and you try it out for yourself. Start with though, I wanted you to see that there's a couple things you're going to need. So you're going to need a level so that you make sure that the vertical, when you put the wallpaper on the wall, it's going on um, plumb. And then you're going to need something to like press down the wallpaper. They make wallpaper spatula squeegee things that you can slide and press it down. I don't have one. I've seen people use their hands. You can also just use any kind of putty knife that you have, but this is going to be too sharp for the wallpaper. It'll cut it. So if you want to use, make do with anything flat that you have, just take a cloth, wrap it over the edge so that you have a nice kind of uh, cushion to that edge and then wrap it around like so, like you're wrapping a little piece of paper, and then take a rubber band, and you're just going to hold it on like that. This way you can press and press down the wallpaper without cutting it or damaging it. So this first piece is always the hardest, um, especially since I'm at this weird angle and I'm in a corner and I do think I'm going to go ahead and wallpaper this wall also. And because of that, I don't actually want to cut it down the corner because my corners aren't square. So I'm actually going to wrap the wallpaper and then just press it in. Um, so it goes around the corner, which is actually going to make it in the long run easier to put up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this. You only want to peel off the corner a little bit at a time. It's hard to get it started. Okay, I've cut this about an inch on the top and the bottom longer than I actually need it um, so that I have some room to play with so it doesn't have to be quite so perfect. Once I get it up there, then I can cut off the bottom and the top. So you want to only pull off the part you're working with. Do not peel off the whole thing and try to deal with it. It is peel and stick, but you don't want to keep taking it on and off and on and off too many times. Okay, I'm going to show you how to cut these corners. These are really not that difficult. They're just kind of a mess. So first thing I'm going to do is way up here where I have plenty of extra. I'm going to cut out that corner so that I can start to press that in. Now what I'm coming to realize is that this corner is not at all square which is why you want to make sure this line over here is square. Use a very sharp razor blade. All right, I'll come back and double check everything later. Let's finish this piece first. Okay, first piece 
is in. This is the hardest one. I wanted to show you how I almost messed up, well, kind of messed up. Um, this particular paper, I don't know if you can see it very well, but on the left-hand side, there's a white line, and on the right-hand side, the arches just kind of dead end. And they're supposed to go up from left to right. I should have hung the first piece on the left, and then the next piece barely hangs over, and that way there's, <laughs> there's no, you don't see these breaks. So what I had to do was, because I wanted to start in that corner, as I go across this wall, I've been having to lift up this paper uh, just the tiniest bit and slide the next piece under it so that this white line is there. It's really clunky. It's not fine. I'm only showing you because I don't want you to make the same mistake. Now there was no indication on the package that this was supposed to be hung from left to right. Although I've hung wallpaper before and that's kind of industry standard is you always hang left to right. So, if the paper doesn't say otherwise, please start on the left hand side and save yourself a whole lot of trouble. Okay, there's an outlet right here and you do not want to cut wires. So you need to be very careful to only go in maybe a millimeter. You see there's electricity. You do not want metal. Don't put metal in there. That's very bad. <laughs> okay, now that you've got this, just be careful with it. And then this goes here. When you get to something you need to cut around, you have to very carefully make sure it's down in there. Like so. And then you can feel where the edge, there's the corner. I would cut in from the corner a ways. So you see I very carefully cut around this corner, leaving myself a lot of extra so that I can have enough room to really get up in there before I trim this off. So don't cut too much off. I think the main thing is just to go very slowly, take your time, and really be careful with that blade, especially around the corners. Thanks so much for joining me. This was ended up being more of a pain than I thought it would be, but I, I like the results and I hope you do too. Give it a try and let me know how it goes. Thanks, bye. Ready to come help me edit? Yeah?